Hey everybody, it's Billy from Spicy Tudor Soap. I'm going to make one more soap tonight and I'm going to do Angel Baby. I wanted to do Snow Kiss Sugar, but I saw that it has 3% vanillin content, so it wouldn't work with what I wanted to do because I want to do, I'm using this um, Stellar White Mica. It's the shimmer, like, it's basically like glitter for your mica. And I want to do that in white, and then I've got black and basically red. So um, I thought that would be great for Snow Kiss Sugar, but uh, I don't want it to discolor. So anyhow, I just had a huge catastrophe. I did Japanese parent ginseng, and it riced and accelerated. So that was not fun. Not fun at all, actually. Um, <laughs> you know, that's life. It's the way it goes sometimes. So, anyways, I wanted to do one more before I go to bed. I'm pretty tired. I'm ready for bed. But I wanted to make one more soap. So, we're going to do it. And I'm just going to get my lye water into my oils. I've already got my kaolin clay, colloidal oatmeal, everything's all set to go. Although, geez Louise, I don't actually want them. It's okay. I'll s That's too small of a container for the white, and I just realized it. I don't know what I was thinking using that little one. But anyways, it's okay. There we go. That looks good. Perfect. Got a couple little chunks of probably one of my butters. I'm excited to use that uh, that Stellar White Mica. I've been wanting to do a soap with that for a while. All right, go ahead and get some into both of these. Oh gosh, I guess I should put my fragrance in first. I sure hope this behaves for me. Do not want to deal with any problems right now. Not after what I just went through. <laughs> with that other one. Oh, you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I wasn't sure if I really liked this all that much in the bottle, but when I just put it poured it in there, I like it. It smells good. It has like a, an apple kind of scent to me a little bit. Okay. And now I'm actually going to get all this in here. I don't know if you guys can see 
that sparkle going in there, but it is just so pretty. I love it. Look at that on my spatula. So pretty. All right. I'm going to put some titanium dioxide in here also. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, this definitely has like an apple tone to it. Some kind of fruity tone. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, that looks really pretty. All right. This one mixed in. I want to do, um, you know, I, I want the like a really stark contrast of the white, black, and red. I love black and white. And so, and then with red as well, it'll be that much better, if you ask me. All right. I'm really hoping. Yeah, everything seems right now like it's going to behave well for me. Thank goodness. I need it to behave well for me after what I went through with that last one. Oh yeah, this looks wonderful. Beautiful. And it smells lovely too. Alright. So, I guess I'll use, um, I guess I'll use this one. I'm just going to go ahead and get it all in there. Okay. Goodness, this is not, it's not even dropping down like I thought it would. That one did a little bit better. Gosh, yeah, it's not really doing what I want it to. Oh, well, you guys, this is, that's life for me lately, it seems like. My soap does not want to behave lately. Telling you, I can't catch a break lately. That's okay. Sorry about the banging. Don't mean to be so annoying. With all that. going to smell good no matter what. I can tell you that much for sure. It really does smell good. Um, I don't know if you guys are maybe familiar with this scent. I think it is some type of perfume and I don't know if it goes by the name Angel Baby as you know 
the actual perfume, or, but I've never heard of it. If it does, I, but I don't, you know, I'm not up on all that kind of thing. Don't know all the latest perfumes and whatnot. All right, get the rest of my black in here. Might as well use it all. And I would say this definitely has some acceleration going on. Um, so, you know, it said in the reviews, it did not say that it did. Um, accelerate but I would say this is accelerating slightly not like seizing up on me or anything but it's definitely accelerated all right so I think what I'll do is I had some other plans but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and run my skewer through keeping it real tight, um, at least I'm trying to. right there. Clean up this one over here and then I'm also going to clean up these sides too. want to get that clean on that edge right there. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. Okay, I think all my edges are nice and clean now. Perfect. All right, so there, that's going to be the finished product. And I will bring you guys back tomorrow morning to cut it and see what it looks like inside. Thanks for watching and uh, wish me luck on this one. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hey everybody. Back to cut Angel Baby. Look at how beautiful that top looks. Um, I did not get to do what I wanted to do with this and because um, it did start thickening up a little and it wasn't, I wanted to do a drop swirl, but that wasn't, that wasn't going to work. So I tried something different and then I forgot, um, when I made this little pattern, I actually meant to go through it <laughs> and I forgot to, it was late last night when I did this, it was, um, about one thirty in the morning. So I think that my head wasn't working properly. Um, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to turn out. Um, on the inside. I, I just don't know and I'm not even really sure how I want to cut it right now because Just don't know so We shall see what is going on in here 
and my um, this is a really thick bar because it's I made it more to do like a slab mold type of um, look so all right wow all right so that's what that looks like uh, and you know what it's hard to see you can I well if you won't I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera uh, if you like move this you can see the little sparkles shimmering but it's kinda hard to see um, maybe I didn't put enough I, I don't know I can see it in there but it has to hit the light just right for you to like see it and I'm sure you can't see it on camera anyways I can kinda see it but it's it's not the easiest to see alright so let's see now I'm kind of thinking maybe I should cut it uh, horizontally because um, otherwise it's not going to be much of a design. Just not sure if it went all the way down. Oh gosh. Let's see, this is like almost two and a half inches thick. So if I cut it at one and a quarter inches thick, I guess that's what I'll do. I guess that's what I'll do. Um, I'm going to pause you. I'll bring you back. I'm going to put my little marks where I want to cut it, and then I'll bring you guys back. Hold. All right. Here we go. I'm going to cut the other end piece off. And basically, I'm going to cut these move this over a little bit. I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to cut it the other way also and um, just kind of see how that goes. Um, not quite sure how this is going to look inside, but that's okay. We're going to see. We'll think of it as a little adventure. <laughs> basically just cutting these my it's four inches thick so I'm cutting it right at two inches in the middle and then um, they're gonna be like uh, almost like almost three inches long and that is going to be the size of the bar they're going to be, um, they're not going to be real big bars, but they're going to be kind of thick. So, I mean, they're not going to be very long bars, but they're going to be kind of thick. So, all right, so that's the way this inside looks, which that looks kind of interesting. And then we'll do this one, and then we'll cut them through the middle. All right. Ooh, that looks really cool. Yeah, that looks really neat. So they're gonna be one and a half inches thick, I believe. Oh, one and a quarter inches thick, I should say. Yeah, one and a quarter inch thick. You know, um, it's always good to improvise as things, you know, change, arise and change. Make sure that's right.
Okay. Oh no, not much in that bar. Oh well. These will be home bars. <laughs> Me and the kids will use those. These will be pretty enough to give away or sell. Oh well, I, I had a feeling that's what was gonna happen. That's okay. Um, you know, that's life. I've been, um, I've had a couple things lately that just really haven't gone quite my way. Same thing. Kind of looks pretty though on that bar, you know. That's a really pretty bar. All right. Let's finish up the rest of these. And um, hopefully, the next couple of uh, batches of soap that I do behave for me because boy, have I just been getting it lately. Just been having a couple of like bad fragrance oils. Oh, look at that one. That's pretty. Yeah, that's really pretty. There we go. Those are the last two bars. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, and by the way, um, I looked at the scent description for this, and you know how I was saying it smells like, to me it smells, I smell apple, which I still, I feel like I do. I feel like I smell apple, um, but if that's not in the scent description. So I don't know what is going on with my nose. I don't know if I'm just smelling something or if there is apple in there, but it is a really nice scent. And, um, you know, it behaved, it, it did accelerate a little bit, but not near, not near anything that would be a problem. So I would definitely say that would be, you know, a good fragrance oil to use. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.